Chapter 3, Variables, Functions, Math, and Strings, out of your Visual Programming Alice book. We'll be looking at the chapter objectives, which are how and when to use variables, what three things are specified when creating a variable, how a function differs from a method, where an object's functions are listed, what primitive functions are, what operators are and how they are used, as well as how to create math expressions and how we use math expressions to prevent collision. String concatenation and strings are also discussed in Chapter 3. Today we're going to be looking at variables in Section 1. In Section 2 we're looking at using functions. Section 3, math expressions. And Section 4, working with strings. To begin our chapter discussion, we're looking at variables. And to define a variable, it's a named storage location in the computer's memory. Programs use variables to store data when running and to then later use that for further processing. Think about when you're using uh, a calculator and we're trying to add two numbers together. We have to store that information in the, the calculator's memory in order to add two numbers together. The same thing with a computer. We're going to store information and use it for later use. The following types of data or variables can be stored. Uh, we'll discuss local variables first, what are parameters, what are class level variables, as well as what's a world level variable. Looking at the different variable types, our first type of variable is the local variable that belongs to a specific method. It's used only by the instructions that the variable belongs to, and whenever a method stops, that variable ceases to exist. With parameter variables, they're used to hold an argument that is passed to a called method. If you want to think of that uh, in terms of methods we've already seen, think of the move method. It requires two, two pieces of information, which are the arguments, the distance, and direction. Those are actual parameter variables. So we're passing that information between our my first method into the move method. So we're actually using a parameter variable to pass that information. With the class level variables, those are variables that belong to a specific object. These you might want to think of as the uh, very as the object's properties. So the color is a class level variable. Opacancy is also a class level variable. And the last variable type we have is the world level variable. So it's a variable that belongs to the entire world. And in terms of scope, as in how far a variable can be used, if it's a world level variable, any method and any object that's inside of your world can use that variable. On the, the small end, end of that scope, local variables can only be used by one specific method. Local variables that belong to a specific method, such as in the tile, the my first method, uh, you have to first click on the create new variable tile in order to create the variable so you can use it later on. In the method editor, it displays a dialog box asking for three pieces of information, the name, the data type, and the value. Variable names, each variable must have a name. It must be unique within the method, so that means you cannot have two variables named number. Uh, should be meaningful and reflect the variable's purpose. For example, in a tutorial, you want to know the number of jumps, so you're naming the variable num jumps as well as using the camel case like we've used in chapter 2 when naming objects and methods. Vari variable types can be numbers, boolean, objects, other such as string, color, or sound. In Alice you can only store values of the variable's data type in that variable. So for example if you're creating a number variable it has to have a number stored as the initial value. Uh, same thing with the boolean. Uh, if you're saving a Boolean variable, it has to have the value of true or false. It can't store a number and it can't store a string. The initial value is just an initial value stored in the variable. Think of it like a placeholder. You can change that value at any time. 
The tile appearance shows the type of variable, so you can have uh, a number variable called distance, and it has the 1, 2, 3 showing. You can have a Boolean variable, which in the tile uh, is going to have a TF in front of it, and also shows the initial value. Uh, we have a bubble object, and an ABC, which de de uh, defines a string variable called something. Every variable is stored in what's called the variable area, which is listed right under the method name. Our variable declaration is used to describe a statement that creates a variable. So for example, whenever you click on the create new variable and it creates that tile inside of Alice, that's our variable declaration. Right now, let's pause and take a minute and look at tutorial 3.1 out of your book. You can find this tutorial beginning on page 114.